Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are, uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows and uh, we'll have our new commercials on it and uh, everybody stay safe, check out the shows, like us on Facebook, but uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pot line, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey, everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got another treat for y'all. We're out at the Poche Plantation out on the River Road, y'all, and it's the first annual Poche Plantation Arts and Crafts event. We got over 150 vendors. We got a 5K run. They cooking whole hogs. They got a crackling contest, all kind of other food, and all the queens are gonna be here from all the other festivals. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all found some of the crackling cooks out here. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, Patrick Rome from uh, Romeville. Josh Oban from Paulina. All right, man. You've been cooking cracklings a while? We've been doing it for a good while. Uh, we in the Lions Club, uh -huh. and they put on a big couchon de lait every year, and been doing it for a bunch of years. And y'all cook the cracklings and sell them to raise money? Yeah, we do it for the blind kids, we, for the organization, and uh, that's our way of donating to our community. Yes, indeed. Now, where are you at with the cracklings? Oh, uh, we're melting it down right now, and... Uh, just waiting for it to melt down, getting ready to where it gets good and crisp, and we take it to the next stage, and we like to drop in water uh -huh. and to make it pop. Gotcha. That's what I was going to ask you. Uh, some use ice, some don't, so y'all use the water. We use water, yes, sir. All right, man. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to it. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Kurt Brignac from Grand Point. Mel Petit from Belmont. All right, man. Now, uh, this is a little bit different style crackling than uh, most of the other guys are cooking out here. These are the old style crackling with the meat and the skin. Most people cook the uh, pork rinds, and they just cook the skin. There's no meat on it. I remember this when I was younger, though. They always had the, they always had the meat on them, and some people still cook like that. I call it Lafayette style, maybe. They, they still right. cook them like that over mm -hmm. there. But y'all will take them out and pop them. We will take them out and just pop the skin. Okay. Now y'all been cooking cracklings a while? We've been cooking for at least 20 years for like charitable, charitable events. Okay. You know. Okay. We don't actually cook for anybody or to sell or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. We just helping out. Don't eat. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, fellas, I'm gonna let y'all get back to it, and hopefully I'll see y'all at the winter circle. Oh, me too. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank you. All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Doug McCrory from Gonzales, Louisiana. Chad Corona from Dutchtown. All right, fellas. Now, y'all come a long way to cook some cracklings over here. A little bit. Wasn't too bad. About 40 minutes. Right here. Now, tell me where you at now. Uh, right now, we're still rendering the fat out, Rodney, and uh, we're going to get to a point we're going to crank it up here in a little bit. Okay. But, uh, so, you're going to pull them out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to take them out. Okay. And then, uh, after you take them out, they'll cool a little while. You're going to bring the temperature back up on the grease? Right. Throw a few at a time? Yep. And y'all said you use water instead of ice. Right. We we use the water. Some people use ice. Some I've seen people throw vinegar in there with them to pop them. You know? <laughs> but uh, but we, we we use water. I All guess right. and uh, we've been we've been cooking them since uh, 2006 2007. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm gonna let y'all get back to work and we'll see y'all at the winter circle. All right. Thank you, Rodney. Thank y'all. All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. My name is Johnny Shorty Senior. I'm from Convent, Louisiana. My name is Johnny Shorty Jr. I'm from Cameron, Louisiana. Father, son team. Correct. 
All right. Now, y'all been doing this a while? I have been. I've been doing it for about 25 years. So you're getting him trained where he can take over. That's correct. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, uh, you was telling me you're, you, y'all don't take him out. No, I cook uh, continuously straight on through. Whenever I put him out, I'm done. They finish. Gotcha. And you got the secret seasoning you put on. I, I use the salt. I've been using salt all my life, you know, and all. Uh, I'm going to try to stick with that until something yeah. tell me different. Until you find something better. Right, right, right. Now, how long, uh, How long? what are you looking for? Are you looking for the color to get the color? and then? I, yeah, I want to get the color and a nice texture and also the tenderness of it, you know, for it to be where you can chew it very right. easily, you know, without a strain, you know. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to it, and uh, we're going to check on y'all after a while. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right, y'all, I got some more cooks here. Let's get their names and where they're from. Bonnie Snyder from Paulino. Dennis Snyder from Paulino. Jared Bourgeois from Grand Point. <laughs> All right, that's a big old pot of cracklings you got there. Oh, yes. How long y'all been cooking them? About tw uh, about an hour and 40 minutes so far. So you down, you're rendering down right now? Yes. Now, uh, do y'all have a sponsor? Or? Yes, St. James Stevedore from Convent. All right. Now, uh... Are y'all going to take y'all's out of the pot? Are you going to leave them in? Or what you going to do? Tell me the process on what you're going to do. We're going to take them out and then let them cool off. And once they cooled off, we'll throw them back in at a 400 degree. And you'll add a little secret ingredient or ice? Yeah, or? Secret ingredients. Okay. You got your own seasoning made up? Yes, we sure do. Gotcha. And you can't, we can't tell you what that seasoning is because they've... I was here, and these people have won a lot already. They didn't want a whole bunch of different. They've been cooking a while, so uh, they're not going to let up on this. Oh, look, there it is right there. <laughs> well, good. Thank you all for talking with us, and uh, we'll we'll check back on you all. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. I done found some cooks here, and they got it going on right here. Let me get their names and where they're from. Uh, my name is Angelo Piazza, Jr., and I'm from Avalos Parish. Yeah. James Gaspard from Vic. Tony Starlone from St. James Parish. George Nasa from Convent. Man, this is a nice operation you got going here. Well, I've been around for a long time, and uh, I brought this tradition to Convent for our uh, arts and crafts, yeah, art and crafts and festival. Now, and uh, it really—I mean, people are coming. I mean, from all over this state. This is unique. Now, this is something that the, if they can't see on TV, the fire's on one side. You got a little battery-operated turner right here, turning the pig and cooking it as we go. Exactly. Uh, these pigs uh, uh, are corn-fed and they're special for a special occasion for these people here in, in Convent. And we're trying to keep this tradition alive, and we're going to work hard. All these men volunteered. This is the kind of community that these people are. And you know what? I love this part of the old country, state of Louisiana. This is God's country oh, right here. Gotta believe it, man. Now, how long do these hogs have to cook spend in here? We put them on at about 7 o'clock last night, and uh, they're just about done. And we've got a number of people. I did all the dirty rice with these men, volunteered, uh, and uh, they volunteered to work, and they worked hard. And you know what? There's not too many of them. No, you can't get good help anymore. No. And this looks like you got you a good crew. You got some good food going on. Now, uh, y'all, y'all got to come out next year and see this. It's the first annual. They're going to be doing it again, so this is really unique, y'all. And I want to thank y'all for stopping and talking to us. Hey, if the Lord's willing, I'll be back because right. I will help uh, Mark uh, Anderson. Thank y'all. Now tomorrow, so you got to hang on We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com.
Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Cajun living and cooking. All right, y'all. We got another cook-off plan. It's the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's a couchon delay. It's April 12th, and it's going to be a big good time. They got a good food. They got a crackling cook-off. Crackling cook-off. Yes, sir. We do. We have a crackling cook-off, and uh, we challenge anyone to come out and challenge our best cooks, and hope to see you there. Yes, indeed. They got a big auction too. We also have a live auction starting at 4 p.m. And we also have live music from 2 to 6, Kenny Cornette and Killing Time. And we have a washerboard tournament also. Yes, indeed. April 12th, Lutcher Park. You're part of me still. For you were my friend. Oh, blueberry. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all got one of the vendors out here that they caught our eye. Let's get their names and where they're from. My name is Lawrence Luke. I'm from Lutcher. Hey, I'm Thibodeau. I live in, Thib live in Thibodeau. Uh, and Vince Golden. Uh, and I'm from Pittsburgh, but I've been living in New Orleans. All right. Now tell me what y'all doing out here. We're uh, doing a benefit for Relay for Life for our, our company, Mosaic Fertilizer. And uh, we, we do this probably about twice a year. Um, our booth today, we have crawfish pies. That looks really good. We have crawfish and corn bisque. Wow. And we also have white chocolate bread pudding. Man, everybody else can go home. <laughs> That's good eating right oh, there. Stay here. Tell, tell, them, uh, tell, them, tell them how you do it. Tell them how you make it. Uh, the, the, the crawfish uh, stuffing is just a, y your basic onion, celery, bell pepper uh, with, with, with crawfish and uh, some cheese and some and then, milk and some flour to thicken it up. Okay, and then you're going to bake it? Yes, we're going to bake it with some mozzarella cheese on top. All right. That sounds good. That and, sounds good. And the crawfish and corn bisque is, is, is a, this is the base of it, and we take it and add corn and some more milk and, and thicken it up and a little more seasoning to uh, have a little bisque soup. Sound like good eating to me. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for stopping and talking to us, and uh, y'all keep up the good work. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, y'all, we got one coming out right here, y'all. Pick, pick it up like this. They oh, slam it down. You did, did it too hard. You got to let it stand. Have, have you noticed how this pig's falling apart? I see that. The reason for that is because, first of all, he's been corn-fed. Ah. Corn is 16% protein, but you add in ingredients. And this is like eating. Yes, indeed. That is very tender. I'm going to let you taste a piece and uh, let me know what you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you going to want to kiss me? Shut kiss the you. front door. Man, <laughs> you can taste the molasses. You can taste the sweet corn molasses in right. the meat of the pig. Exactly. That's now priceless. Dip him over like that. And this is why he's tied in this wire net, because he's so tender and he's young that he's just, I just don't have to cut him up. All I got to do is just pull him apart like Man. This. See what I'm saying to you? Now, a lot of people, all this fat and all they're worried about. Yeah. Okay, hold this back for me. Thank you. Now, I'm going to go back like this. That's the dark meat. Right? You don't mind. Go back. Y'all, that's incredible. That's incredible flavor. That's pork ribs there. And uh, we're going to go back to the lean, to the loin. Oh, that's the tenderloin. That's right. Take the whole thing. Whoa, you're trying to fatten me up now. 
I told this lady just a joke. Y'all, there ain't nothing better than that. That's the best pork I ever ate in my life. That's good. Well, I'm not bragging on myself. I'm going to be eating with y'all. All right. I, 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 I eat the best. That's this, good. This is one of my cooks that helped me. He's right here in his hometown, and I'm coming back because these people remind me of where I come from in a little community called Marksville. When it was Marksville, yeah. the old-fashioned way. Gotcha. That's what I liked about it. Well, y'all, this is something, y'all. This, uh, this is cooking at its finest. This is cooking over wood, and this it, is old community-style cooking. Yeah. We going back to the old ways. Looks like these new ways ain't. Doing They're not too working out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're not beating this, y'all. This is all cooking right here. Now tomorrow, when I fix you these nice plates, yeah, and you let it cool off before you put it on ice, yeah, you get up and put it in your oven just for 15, 20 minutes, yeah. warm it up, and it's really. Well, I don't know how I can get any better than what it is right there. I want to thank you, Mr. Angelo. Hey, That's good eating right let me there. Tell you something. I love this community. I met this man. I met these people of volunteers. And I tell you what, they all, we're working for a betterment of this community. And they called me to come help them. And uh, that's what I do. And that's what I'm going to continue to do till the Lord calls me home. Well, thank you for talking with hey. us. And y'all, this is good. Thank you. And God bless y'all. Okay. All right, y'all. We just judged the uh, crackling contest just now, and this is all my fellow judges here. We're gonna get their names and where they're from. I'm Craig from Kenner. Elizabeth from New Orleans. Billy Nungasser from Plaquemines Parish. I'm Denise from Metairie. Cheryl Babin from Gonzales. Gene Young from New Orleans. Larry Roussel from Lutcher. <laughs> Timmy Roussel from Lutcher, but St. James Parish. <laughs> Michelle Neeler Octave, St. James Parish Proud. Marie Shex Nye from St. James Parish, residence. Ken Dewey, Baton Rouge, native of Lutcher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all, this was a hard thing, huh? Yeah. They were close, y'all. I'd like to thank all the cooks for cooking. It was really, really good cooking. Really good job putting this on, Mr. Larry. Thank you. Very thank good. You. Very good. Uh, I, we're not going to say who we voted for or who we won, but who won or who you liked the best. But it was hard judging, and we'll see at the podium over there on the stage when we start announcing winners how good we were at judging. So uh, I'd like to thank all my fellow judges for helping judge, and thank y'all. Okay. It was, it was, it was tough. Delicious. There's no such thing as a bad crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tough when you got to rate them one to five because somebody's going to be at the bottom, yeah. and they were all so very close. Uh, you had trouble putting that one in that five because they all right. You didn't want to have one last. That's right. You could, right. and you had to under the judge's rule. Right. Yep. Runs a tough, right. tough shot. That stops everybody from putting nine point five on every oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But they all had unique taste, and they all had a unique. Uh, I could take them all home, and I yeah, will. yeah, and we will too. <laughs> Thank y'all again. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. All right, y'all, we got another cook-off plan. It's the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's a couche on delay. It's April 12th, and it's going to be a big, good time. They got a good food. They got a crackling cook-off. Crackling cook-off. Yes, sir, we do. We have a crackling cook-off, and uh, we challenge anyone to come out and challenge our best cooks and hope to see you there. Yes, indeed. They got a big auction, too. We also have a live auction starting at 4 p.m., and we also have live music from 2 to 6, Kenny Cornett and Killing Time. And we have a washer board tournament also. Yes, indeed. April 12th, Lutcher Park. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel.
Living Sin Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. <laughs> Cajun Living and Cooking. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. I got Mark Anderson, the owner out here of this whole plantation. And he's got some friends with him, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on and what we got out here today. Hey, Mark. How you doing, man? How you doing? Doing good. Who you got with you out here? Well, I got these two gorgeous ladies. One's my mom. That's why I look so good myself. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And who's this? Who? It was my girlfriend, and he took her. That man right there took oh, no. her pan to the right. No, man. I'm just kidding. This is a friend of mine. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, what a fine job you're doing out here. This is Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Most well, of it's other people's labor, my, you know, my organization, time gotcha. and money. It's really it's his money and my time. Now, it, there Ken, we go. Ken over there sold me this plantation. That's why I want to get him on there. He sold me this plantation one day when I was drinking mint juleps. Uh-huh. I think he took advantage of me that day, but later on I realized it was a deal for me. Well, that's good. That's good. So much activity is going on out here, y'all, from the hog crackling contest to the mini pot contest to all the vendors to the auction. There's awesome food out here. The queens are out here. Really fun stuff. And this is the first year, and we're going to keep doing this every year, right? We're going to certainly try. You know, it's a whole lot to get up in the morning. you got to get up almost 6 o'clock. <laughs> that's you know, early but everybody does a good job big pulling you know tomorrow sunday we're gonna have over 179 people signed up to play for charity wow who's gonna get to our six stages that's gonna be great we parked probably i'm gonna tell you and a lot of people don't know this but i promise to get a haircut if there was over 10,000 people come up and i know i'm gonna be getting a haircut uh, yes. yeah we're gonna try to get that on film yeah, too if we can get a cut it, 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 yeah, it's only gonna be a quarter inch oh so we're not taking it all you're not getting <laughs> one of these there. I'm not going to try. <laughs> but I appreciate all the people coming out. You know, the people who put these people on is really community, man. The community does this, and they give it to charity like bonfires. You know, every street yeah. builds a bonfire. Government don't give you the money to build a bonfire. You build it yourself. People built this festival, and we appreciate that. Yes, we do. Thanks for all the help, all the volunteers, and thank you, Mark. Thank you, too. And thank you, ladies. Thank you all. All right, y'all. I got all the queens out here. We're fixing to get their names and their title. Hi, I'm Jenny Miette. I'm Mrs. St. James Parish. This is Brenna Miette. She is Tyler, Miss St. James Parish. Hi, I'm Paige Murray Whip, Miss Iberia, the 73rd. Hi, I'm Caitlin Isan, Miss Terrebonne Parish. I'm Kayla Buchanan, Deb, Miss St. James Parish. Just say your name. JC, what's her last? Eight. What? Angie, our um, little Miss St. James. And you? Teen St. James, Amber Hope Dyskis. Hi, Ellen Boudreaux, Miss Lafayette Parish. Emily Weider, St. James Parish, Relay for Life. Proudly representing St. James Parish, I'm a 2014 Miss St. James Parish, Maryland Atelier. Hi, I'm Anna Cortez, Miss LaFouche Sugar. All right, this is some royalty right here, y'all. This is from all around the South, and I want to thank y'all queens on a good reign. Thank y'all. Thank you. Yes, sir, here we go. And third Doug McCory and Chad Corona. Yeah. 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 All right, in second place, Doug McCoy, uh, Put, Balut, and Bonnie. Jerry Boozer.
Bar, Dennis Stoddard, and Bonnie Steiner. All right, and the 2014 heavyweight champion of St. James Paradore, actually the Porsche Playing Plantation, Arts and Crafts Crackling Champ, Mel Petita and Kurt Greenyard. All right, y'all got the winners right here. Congratulations, fellas. Thank you. Now, is there anybody I want to thank? Sponsors or anybody? Baron's Supermarket. Baron's Supermarket. Louisiana. Lutcher, Louisiana. That's some good crackling. Y'all had the ones with the meat. The meat. Yes, indeed. Old time crackling. Yeah, and I and I think that's what took it. You know, having the one with the meat. I, I, I believe it was a little different than the rest. You know, that's what really. Well, we cook in a lot of contests, but it depends on the judges. If you get the younger people, they don't know what crackling is. All they know is pork skins. Right. But that's why I asked them earlier. I said, are the judges old or young? Yes, indeed. Well, congratulations again. That's a fine trophy right there, man. Indeed. Look at here. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. Fine day out at Poche Plantation. Awesome. We'll come back next year. As a matter of fact, we're coming back tomorrow. It's going to be the mini pot contest, but we had a good day today. All them crackling cooks and all them booths and all the neat stuff you've seen out here. Hey, thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hey, I hope y'all like the show. Uh during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together, we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today.